Hey Zoo Leavers, this is Super Summer God Barbecue, and today we have got some of the brand new universe mode from WWE 2K18, and it is much more improved this year. There's a lot of new features, including the power rankings. There's even now the ability to have potential storylines and potential rivalries, which makes a big, big difference to the random nature of universe modes. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I do have my criticisms about it and I also have my positives. One of the big positives is the brand new power rankings system. But before we get into that, if you like what you see in this video, make sure to smash the like button. I've got to do the whole setup thing because YouTube relies on subs and likes. So whatever, like the video, subscribe to the channel and smash the notification button so you get to see more WWE 2K18 content. I've also left my Twitch link in the description below because I do tend to stream on Twitch a lot. And until the 2K18 release date of the 13th, I'll be streaming pre-release content on a sporadic basis. So make sure you are set up to follow on there. But here are the power rankings. This is a brand new thing to universe mode. There's a lot of people who use creator wrestlers, who download creator wrestlers from some of the best CAW designers in the community who are going to be very happy with this because you'll effectively be able to completely customize your power rankings with some of the best wrestlers in the world. Omega, Okada. We're going to be able to have Adam Cole when the DLC comes out, Drew McIntyre, the Hardy Boys involved in these power rankings. And that is going to be make a lot of people very happy. The Bullet Club, your Cody Rhodes, uh, Will Ospreay. The list, there's, the list is endless. A lot of people from WCPW or Defiant as it's now going to be called. So there's, there's a lot. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of legends in this as well, created legends. A lot of people being added to this like the rock stone cold steve austin and it goes a long distance down to the bottom i mean at the top at the moment we've got ourselves the braun Strowman, who is the top of the current universe mode because he's kicking everyone's ass uh brock lesnar who was behind him i'm sure that would have changed after uh, no mercy and we also have aj styles he was the only person in the top five who's from smackdown which i very much dispute and there's no roman reigns anywhere i don't know where roman reigns is that's this very strange very very strange in fact, it actually takes us a while to find Roman Reigns in this. Uh, but you've got Alexa Bliss, like Kevin Owens. Roman Reigns is 27th. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people. You know, Roman Reigns is almost at the same rank as Bobby Roode and Eric Young. And the rest are sanity. I mean, really? But hey, whatever. This is universe mode. Anything can happen. I played it myself. Uh, the guys at the fashion place are on here. There is 100 and, I believe, 112 different people 113 and i mentioned i had negatives and positives to talk but i'm going to talk about a lot of the positives you got the goals here the goals just beneath the superstars and these are the goals that your superstar or the superstar that you are looking at is aiming to achieve for example you've got champions who will do whatever it takes to keep the tag team championships you also have people like braun Strowman who will do anything it takes to be on top of the power rankings when i saw neville's it says defeat braun Strowman and become an icon in this industry so neville doesn't want to become a champion he just wants to kick braun Strowman's ass good luck with that one and they all count towards attributes within your universe mode and the changes in the rankings as we get into the main hub of the universe mode, you can see you've got the rivalries, the championships, the shows, uh, the teams that are in there as well. So you can change your teams up. You can add the shield if you want to. In fact, the pay-per-views are no longer once per month. You can actually add more than two. And this actually falls in line more with how WWE act now. But I wanted to show you one specific thing today. And I simulate the entirety of a, a year between the uh, end of WrestleMania 2017 and WrestleMania 2018. Because we're going to show something very special today. And that's going to be a Miss Money in the Bank cash-in. So you're going to see, first of all, we're going to change the matches up to have a... Originally, we changed it up to an eight-person Money in the Bank ladder match. And this is one thing I will say I'm not particularly pleased with. And this is the in-universe mode. If you have an eight-person Money in the Bank match, it will not recognize that person as Mr. or Miss Money in the Bank. So, it is important to know that before you start your universe modes, unless they change that in a patch, 
that you cannot gain the money in the bank briefcase to allow you to cash in unless a you're on the same same brand as the person you're trying to cash in on and b if you win it in an eight man match it will not register you as mr or miss money in the bank it will just purely have you winning the briefcase and then you will no longer be the money in the bank briefcase owner and i used various different amounts of superstars i put alexa bliss becky lynch naomi sasha banks charlotte and bailey i didn't play the match because i'd already done a ladder match for my content so i wanted to really push on naomi won the money in the bank ladder match and she is going to hold on to that for as long as possible and not do a baron corbin and screw it up and this is where i found out about being able to go for different brands titles and i'm assuming this is the confirmation that the rule in wwe now is you cannot cash in on another brand's championships because i tried to initially get page versus lita for on the raw brand for the raw women's championship as the match because page was the wwe women's champion on raw and unfortunately i couldn't cash in so i had to stick to smackdown we put in Natalia against Lita, and then we got to the option where we could cash in. But it was very disappointing that you can't switch brands when it comes to money in the bank, and the eight-man part was a little bit disappointing as well. But it's very much the same as previous years, and this is part of the achievements, by the way. If you haven't seen the achievements list, I'll link it in the description and comment section. But one of the big achievements is cashing in the money in the bank contract and winning a WWE Championship at any WrestleMania at all. 2K do need to change the announcements for the wrestlers because during the cash-in, the Miss Money in the Bank was replaced by Mr. Uh, he is cashing it in. He is going for it. His, no hers, no she, but I'm sure that's something that can be fixed pretty easily. So, we see Natalia versus Lita for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And as we'll see as we start this off, Natalia retains before she gets a nasty surprise from the glow. This is one of the most anticipated WrestleManias in WWE history. Singles action coming your way. Grueling match for the champion, but he somehow survived. And oh my God, Corey, can it be? It is! No, it no, is! It no. is! The Money in the Bank contract is in that briefcase, and he's cashing it in! The champion's not ready. He just competed. We can have a new champion tonight! We can have a new champ right here! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And I've seen countless championship matches over for the past few years, and this one ranks right up there with some of the most anticipated. Believe it or not, some people are actually saying this is the night where the champ gets picked off. And you get the feeling that this crowd wants to be a part of history here in this championship match. Let's quickly discuss Naomi for a moment. Well, anytime a woman can rise to number six in the rankings, you know she's good. Does she have enough, you think? She's definitely somebody we all need to keep an eye on in the coming months and years. Let's see how she fares here. Well, she's one of the rising talents in the WWE and should be a force to be reckoned with sooner than later. Naomi has one of the most thrilling, dare I say, illuminating entrances in sports entertainment. But that's only the beginning because when the bell rings, Naomi is truly amazing. Can you still feel the glow when the lights are out? Can't waste any time here. There it is. It is. It's locked in. That's what makes her so dangerous. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. And Naomi manages to reverse out of that one. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Oh, and she has an answer for that one. And it's Natalia with the reversal.
Natalya is a force within the ring. And she comes up with a big counter. And now she's on the offensive. Wow, she's acrobatic. That's never a bad thing. Well, unless you're her opponent. Oh, there's some good contact there by Natalya. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. We're looking at complete domination here. Ah, oh, Naomi wants to fly. Whoa! And she comes up short. If you're gonna leave your feet, you gotta make sure you're gonna land the move. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. She's in control now following that slam. She's got Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. Natalia is just seconds away from a victory here. <laughs> Natalia definitely has a few things to say about it. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. Not this time. I've never seen her miss by so much. Whoops, that missed. That's putting it mildly, Cole. Not so fast, she breaks it. Yeah, but it's gotta just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. Back in from the apron. Oh yeah, here's Natalia. Natalia definitely has a few things to say about it. Back inside the ring now. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. And Natalia heads for the top rope. She's got to find a way to get up here, guys. That will be incredible! She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Swing and a miss! That was strike one, two, and three. Good luck stopping Naomi when she's rolling like this. Big miss right there. She wasn't even close, Michael. Oh, yeah, here's Natalia. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. And Naomi manages to reverse out of that one. Message delivered. Well, that rocked her all right. Look out. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got herself into right about now. There's breakers and then there's breakers. That was the ladder. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. This one is over. This could do it. One, two. We have
the crowning of a new champion. Naomi successfully cashing in that money in the bank contract. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. Let me know what you think should be improved. There's a lot of big improvements in universe mode, but there are a small couple of things and some very specific things that need to be addressed. Specifically, first, I would say that the ability to have an eight-man money in the bank match or an eight-woman money in the bank match needs to be a thing. And they need to change the cash-in uh, voiceover so it's no longer Mr. for a female competitor or him, his, or whatever. Anyway, this has been Super Summer God Barbecue. I hope you have an amazing day. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Until next time, though, one last thing, and that is to... Zoli!